Hi all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com um, So I've got uh, another method of flashing kernels and ROMs on your Evo 3D uh, without using fastboot. Um, this is the HTC Dumblock method. Um, basically, you'll have to install this app through Clockwork Mod Recovery or just Recovery or Twerp Recovery, whatever recovery you prefer. Um, there's two files. First, uh, copy the two files over to uh, the root folder of your SD card. Um, the two files are install acc dumlock v 2zip and restore original boot blah blah dot zip. I'll have the two files links. Just copy it over to the SD card of your um, Evo 3D. And also, you have to have uh, some kind of recovery installed on your Evo 3D. This is for mm -hmm. people with HBoot 1.50. You don't have to do this if you're on revolutionary mm -hmm. method. Um, so let's boot into um, our recovery. I'm going to do it manually. I don't have uh, buttons on here. So I'm just going to take the battery out. And then I'm going to power it up. Um, holding down the volume down and the power button like that. And this will get us into bootloader mode where I can choose um, recovery here. In a second here. Go to recovery. Hit the power button. I'm going to plug this in because I'm running out of power. And i got to make this video mm -hmm. right now. So I've got twerp recovery in here. You just have to have a, some kind of recovery. Uh, everything is similar. Um, and then you can do install from zip if you have the regular recovery. Or if you have twerp, you can just do install. And go find the uh, the file. The two files I was talking about was install acc dumlock that one and the restore dash original dash boot dash v2 dot zip. So I'm gonna install this um, flash now. And if you install a new ROM and you lose the app, you can just go do the same thing and install it. And then we're gonna reboot system. And this will install the HTC um, Dumlock. How it works is uh, when you run the app, it actually flashes your recovery mm -hmm. to the boot partition. So um, it's mm -hmm. the same thing as booting your recovery from Fastboot. Um, so you don't need a computer, which is good. Um, don't worry about this. Just mm -hmm. reboot it again. Sometimes it kind of does that. Oh, oh, I know what it is. Um, basically, I, I ran Dumlock before, uh, just before this video. Where you're supposed to do install the other one too. This one, this one will restore your uh, original boot. So flash now. Um, that's part of uh, what you should do when you boot into it using HTC Dumlock. So the process is once you install this app. You have it on your uh, phone. Basically, use HCC Dumb Lock, and then uh, to boot into recovery, or um, and then you install your new ROM and uh, reboot, or and then also you have to install that uh, the original boot, so it'll boot into your ROM instead of the recovery. I'll I'll walk you through. It's it's not you know it's not that complicated. It's actually pretty easy to do. Um, so I've got. Sense 4.0 ROM here. Hold on, look, I gotta, I gotta replace battery on my camera. So once you've installed this uh, HTC Dumlock, whatever ROM you have, you will have this new app called HTC um, Dumlock, and you just run it to uh, access your recovery. And I'll show you. So the process is um, run the HTC Dumlock. That one and then execute HCC Dumlock and it will basically flash your recovery whether you have twerp or whatever to your boot partition so next time you boot it's going to boot into your uh, recovery when you reboot um, okay if you get some some error don't worry about it just turn it off uh, or just restart and don't try to get into recovery um, through the bootloader then you'll you'll go into the actual recovery portion where you can't flash kernels but if you just simply reboot it will actually boot into um, your recovery I have twerp here and then and then every time you boot into recovery you'll want to install that original restore original.boot zip or otherwise mm -hmm. it's going to keep rebooting into recovery 
Um, so basically, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna. Uh, so this from here, you can actually install ROMs and kernels, and it will flash it because it's actually in the boot partition. Um, so I'm gonna actually before you do anything, just do install, and uh, always keep these two files in your root folder, and uh, do restore original boot. All right, just like I did before. And when you reboot, it's gonna reboot into your ROM. But now you can install a new ROM. So let's go ahead and install a completely new ROM. I have the ICS Sense 4.0 ROM running. So if I can install something else, um, we go to install, download, and uh, let's install ooh, 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 Viper ROM, right? Which since that's Gingerbread 2.3, it's a different kernel, so it should work fine. So I'm going to flash it, um, you know, and uh, reboot, and you should have new ROM and kernel installed. Uh-oh. No, no, I have some kind of MD5. Let me install something else. How about uh, Shooter Anthrax? Well, I'll try this one for now. There we go. So I'm installing new kernel here. And uh, just reboot, and it should be all good to go. Oh, that was quick. Who was that? Oh, you know what? That was a kernel. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Um, install. Let me go actually uh, download another ROM that I can show you. Um, let me do that real quick. I'll be back. Alright uh, folks, so I actually just mounted it in twerp and then um, I'm going to install, uh, let me do a wipe real quick. Do a wipe, factory reset, and uh, let me go install a ROM and we should be on uh, mean ROM here. I actually like that ROM, pretty simple and fast. So I'm just looking for a regular 2.3 ROM now um, that does wi -Fi, broken Wi-Fi tethering. Um, so. Uh, wipe and then I'm gonna install the mean ROM now and flash now and when I reboot I should have the new ROM with the new kernel um, so just have the two files there and uh, just remember run the Dunlock app and it will install in your recovery first if you don't have it um, you might be able to back it up with titanium backup you should be able to do that and basically run Dunlock app uh, boot into recovery flash the restore original boot.zip and then you can do whatever you want in recovery and it's the same thing as if um, you know if you didn't if you're just using the recovery um, from fastboot or using the flash image GUI so now we have more methods you, you don't have to use your computer um, to flash new ROMs this is again this is for people with uh, rooted HCC Vote 3D on HBoot 1.50 or later if you're on revolutionary method you don't even have to worry about any of this just flash your ROMs and go so I'll be back when this is done flashing hi right, folks so it is done and I'm gonna reboot uh, reboot system mm -hmm. And pretty much same thing in the other uh, original recovery, uh, the other recovery other than twerp. Install from SD card instead mm -hmm. of just install. And now I should be on, uh, I should mm -hmm. see mean ROM boot animation and I should boot into this new ROM and this will verify that it works. Of course it does. <laughs> I hope so. This is actually um, first time I'm flashing a new ROM with this actually. But I, I did tested out before so do I think this method is better than flash image GUI um well, it's the same thing I think it's not oh so there there I got the mean ROM boot animation and shortly you should see it booting up and we should be good to go actually this is good enough because the kernels they control the boot animation so if I didn't if it didn't install the new kernel you wouldn't see the boot animation but we'll just give it a uh, couple more seconds here and boot in there. Um, so you have two methods now. Um, if you don't want to use fast boot on your computer, use the flash image GUI uh, method or this method. I think they're both um, both pretty good. 
Um, actually, this method would be better because um, this can actually restore your old ROMs that have different kernels. Um, so, because the flash image GUI, it can only flash kernels from a ROM zip file. It can't do that from um, a twerp backup or your, you know, regular recovery backup. Um, so this method is, I guess, yes, it, it is better. Use the HTC dumb lock method. Um, so it's almost done. And this should work on uh, most HTC uh, unlocked um, devices also similarly should work files are different though so you'll you have to actually go to twerp site and find out for yourself but the method is the same um, it's almost done here anyway I'll be back when this is done up oh, there we go so I've got mean rom on here um, so now you can install new roms uh, and kernels without having to um, use flash image or oh, you can still use in flash image GUI but just another method HTC dumb lock method awesome um, anyway this is just booting up um, that was it and don't forget to hit that like button for me if you're on YouTube and subscribe to my channel up here um, and also you can subscribe to our email list at HTCVoHacks.com where we update you once a week um, with updates uh, ROM reviews and stuff like this and uh, we don't share your email with anyone else it's just for you and me um, anyway, thanks y'all, subscribe, and see y'all later, and have a great week.